guys so welcome to the next uh, video um so today we'll be doing a tag uh sent by one of my uh subscribers so uh thank you so much for uh doing this tag and i'm really looking forward to doing it um the tag is titled uh, the christian woman's uh head covering tag so let's get started how old am i i am uh 35. how long have I, how long have i been head covering um i have been co head covering for uh four years and I love it. <laughs> it's part of who I am. So how do I cover? Um, this has a couple different questions. <clears throat> so how do I cover? Um, do I cover all my hair? Uh, yes, I do. Other than every now and then if a little bit of hair comes out the sides. But yes, I cover all my hair. Um, I was looking into, um, when I first started covering, um, different type of head covers. And I uh, thought that this was the most modest and the most fun to do with. I would have worn this the hijab the whole time though, but let's get into that a little bit later. So what other parts of my body do I keep covered? Um, <clears throat> it's kind of a two-step thing. Um, I don't always wear the hijab, but when I do wear the hijab, I make sure my arms are always covered when I wear the hijab. Um, also, my the shirts I normally wear with when I wear the hijab is actually uh, um, kind of like a tunic style, so they come down to my, my thigh. And um, I always wear skirts or uh, kind of loose fitting pants when I wear the job. Um, when I wear the other style, like the tickle, um, sometimes I don't um, don't wear long sleeves. It depends on how how I'm feeling that day. But uh, but almost all the times, almost all the time, I do wear do wear long sleeves, uh, even the summer. So pretty much everything is covered. Um, except for my feet. <laughs> I go around barefoot a lot, so uh, my feet, my hands, my face is all uncovered. Everything else is pretty much covered. Do I try to dissimulate the shape of my body? Um, I try to. Um, <laughs> I, I really try to. Um, I think that's more modest, more, more modest that way. But it's kind of difficult when you're a little, you're overweight. It's kind of hard to find clothes that it looks stylish, but also don't look uh, frumpy, <laughs> uh, you know, barely baggy, um, you know, if it makes any sense. So I really try to. Um, I do have some abayas, oh, so long, uh, long uh, Muslim style dresses I do wear on occasion. And I do have a couple lo loose, lo uh, loose uh, flowing dresses I tend to wear. But um, I really try to, but it's really difficult, especially if you're on the plus size. Do I keep any other modesty standards? Um, no, not not really. <laughs> um, not that I can really think of off the top of my head. Um, I know that um, when I do wear a hijab out in public, I seem to be more reserved, uh, more modest in my uh, actions and everything to, towards people around me, um, rather than just a regular, regular head covering. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I noticed my uh, my attitude is a little bit different when I'm wearing hijab. So why do I cover? Um, I started out um, to be more modest. Instead of covering, I started watching um, more um, YouTube videos and stuff on modesty. And it really struck me. Um, that too, in more Bible study, I started reading uh, 1 Corinthians 11, which means um, cover your head, cover your hair. Um, and to form, form a modesty um, that your actions are so first, uh, first Corinthians 11 and then um, I talked to my husband about it and he said okay yeah sure go ahead and then after that I couldn't <laughs> about two weeks later I gave myself a month to try it out within two weeks I loved it um, and yep <laughs> four years later I'm still cut covering so do I cover for the same reason when I did when I started in the beginning? Uh, yeah, um, yeah, for modesty purposes, and then it also got into more um, it means much more than that now. Um, not only for modesty reasons, but also that um, my hair is not to be shared with anybody. Um, you know, 
a lot of like Jewish culture, uh, especially the um, uh, Orthodox uh, Jews, they believe that their husbands are the only ones who get to see their hair um, because it's considered beautiful. So I really like that concept. So uh, that's one of the reasons why I also uh, cover. Um, so next uh, next question. Um, who do I stay covered in front of? Um, for the most part, I stay covered, uh, un uncovered for my husband. Um, there has been a couple times in the past um, where I couldn't, I had to uncover. <laughs> um, like, um, um, I had my, my parents and family were at my house in Belgium for uh, a couple, two weeks and I just can't walk around the house covered all the time. So I, I did that for, uh, for a while. And then when my mother-in-law lived with me, um, I got covered for her, of course. Um, but that's pretty much it. Um, you know, if you, if you come into my house, um, I will be covered. <laughs> Um, I'm usually uncovered um, when I'm around the house, but then um, I'm uh, actually uncovered around the house. But um, I go to answer the door, I quickly throw a head cover on to open the door. So, yep. What was my uh, next question? What was the reaction of your husband and other family members and other people that I meet? <laughs> um, so the reaction of my husband was, he's all for it. When I first asked him about it, he was pretty easygoing. Um, pretty pretty easygoing. He said, "Yeah, sure, you know, try it out." After I explained to him why I was covering and stuff like that, so then, um, how am I? Where's that? Where am I at here? I forgot. <laughs> what has been the other reactions of my family members? Um, hmm. Yeah, this is where it gets uh, touchy. <laughs> um, my parents. Um, they're they're okay with it. They're kind of skeptical, especially since they didn't ever see me in a head cover. And when I started head covering, and, and when I was living in Belgium, and they have a lot of high Muslim uh, community there in Belgium. And uh, when my parents came over to visit, of course I'm wearing hijab, dress, long sleeves. They're kind of skeptical, but they're fine with it. Um, it wasn't until I moved back to the United States, and they're like, okay, we're kind of worried about your safety. We're worried about your safety. You should change. My mom especially. Um, you should change your head cover, because nobody likes people like that who dress like that. You know, kind of kind of attitude. So I just prayed about it and was like, you know, I, I love dressing this way. So I'm just gonna keep dressing like this way. And I really haven't had that many um, in in the public. In in the public, people don't care. I mean, yeah, I get weird stares every now and then. You know, but. I, I live in a big Amish community too, and so everybody, a lot of people cover. It's not the same as me, but you know, a lot of people had cover in this area. Um, there is some places that I will not go on certain days of the week. Um, like I said, I won't go to Walmart <laughs> in the local town uh, next to us. I won't go to Walmart um, at Saturday night because it seems like every every redneck racist person is at Walmart. <laughs> I know that sounds horrible, but you know what I mean. Um, yeah, I've gotten followed around stores before, but anyway. Um, so how have my other family members acted? Um, my mother-in-law, father-in-law, they were okay with it. Um, some of my other family members um, are not so welcoming. Um, I've actually had to uh, dis disconnect with a couple family members because they've uh, called me a terrorist. I've gotten called a terrorist. Um, I should be going back to my own country, go back to where you came from, you know, stuff like that. But that's just a couple of family members, and they're no longer in my life. But it still hurts. So, other than that, other than those two two relatives, it's, everything's been fine. Everybody's been really accepting, and everything like that. <laughs> so, how's next next question? Uh, how is uh, how has the head covering changed your life? Hmm. It's brought me closer to God. <laughs> it's brought me a lot closer to God. It brought me a lot closer to God because, you know, when, when I walk down the street, people know that I'm religious and I have to act a certain way. 
Um, I can't be screaming or yelling like that, you know. Um, my prayer life has increased since then. Um, I've been praying a lot more, um, especially in the last couple, last year especially. So it's it's brought me closer to God. Um, self esteem is it's increased my self esteem because you know I feel more beautiful wearing hijab or a head cover, um, and that's pretty much it I think. <laughs> so uh, what's my next question is what's my denomination? I was uh, raised Seventh Day Adventist. Seventh Day Adventist, um, my whole life going to church, um, and it's Adventist church. But then um, we went to Belgium. Um, the closest church to us that spoke English was almost uh, 60 miles away. So it took a lot to step back and to look at, uh, study the Bible and everything. And um, when doing that, I uh, started head covering um, before I started reading the Bible even more. So I started head covering for modesty reasons. And then um, a lot of the videos I was watching had to do with uh, Messianic Judaism. So I started looking into that, me and my husband looking into that. And uh, we started celebrating the holidays, and Jewish holidays and Jewish feast days. And uh, so now I consider myself a Messianic Christian, so, which means um, we celebrate all the biblical um, holidays. We celebrate all the holidays um, described in the Bible and Leviticus 23. And then of course, you know, like Hanukkah and stuff like that too. So we celebrate all the Jewish biblical holidays. So, so yep, we're uh, Messianic uh, Christians. This is the Christian woman's uh, head covering tag. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And also, if you want to do uh, the answers to these questions, I'll put all the questions in the description box. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Any questions or anything, please post them below the video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for the next video. Bye.